Hallo, hallo, Fan, willkommen zu der Big Sailing Blog. I'm naked. Hallo, hallo, Pa. And welcome to a big Swedish sailing wait, channel. Wait, wait, stop it. No. Yeah. No. First big team, I'm still naked. You just love it. Oh my god. <laughs> nee. Hallo, hallo, Pa. Hello, Aliopa. And welcome to a big, not so Swedish sailing channel. <laughs> um, we are going to make videos because we bought a boat, and apparently everyone who buys a boat has to make videos. So, jumping on the bandwagon, it's Tim and Sarah continuing the rest of our adventure around Australia by boat this time. Out, out. Okay. Nice. As you can see, we are now in the point of a process where we actually found a boat and got it. And it's a beautiful 35 foot steel yacht called Restless. And of course, there are way more problems with every system than we would ever have imagined from the beginning. So from the sails, to the motor, to the bulges, to the lines, to the crew, it's just been problems, problems, problems. Left, right and center. Anyway, we have been doing our best to fix them, starting with taking it out of the water, anti-fouling, and uh, just having a general look around the bottom. Then we put it back in, took it for a sail, found the engine wouldn't start, found the radio wasn't working, managed to get back to the dock, did a whole bunch of other things. Um, and now we're currently sitting at anchor, uh, just off the marina that we were in, actually, in Bunbury. And we are doing the last bit which will include fitting a roller feller so that the head sail will be a little bit more manageable. And oh, changing the exhaust muffler system. We woke up one morning and I tried to start the engine and found water in the cylinders, so that was a whole adventure unto itself. Um, what else will we be doing? Lots of things. Oh, re-stepping the mast, that will be a fun one because right now it's sitting at about yay angle in the thing in the mast step area so that's gonna be fun um anyway it has been there have been a lot of good things too and uh yeah so we're just getting used to being on the boat right now and then hopefully once everything is nicely fixed we might do a couple of uh, runs down to Dunsborough or Bustleton which are both fairly close by uh, just to have a couple shakedown sails and after that hopefully we'll be heading north and up up and away we had initially wanted to go to Indonesia um, for surf season there which would have been amazing and it may still happen but Sarah's Swedish passport runs out in June and she actually has to go to Canberra physically to renew it and with the current WA border Restrictions, blah blah blah. It looks like that is gonna be quite difficult. So, anyway, we got that appointment booked for the 21st of June. The new passport should be here just by the end of July. Maybe we'll sneak up and make it there anyway, but we also might not and stay in Australia a bit more. But we're also both on working holiday visas, so yeah, yeah, same thing. All right, we're, we will both be on COVID visas, which is Hopefully. essentially the same thing as a working holiday visa, in that it only gives you a set amount of time. So, hopefully by then, we will either hate boat life, sell everything, sink, die, crash into a reef, or love it, keep sailing, and maybe get to the tropics. I'm hoping for number three. Sarah is hoping for number two. Sink and die. Uh, no, obviously we're not hoping for that, yeah, that would be horrible, but we're hoping for many other things. Anyway, I will uh, do a little restless tour in a sec, um, and yeah, show you what we've got.
So, after a quick little sail just to test the shiny new bottom, our time in the marina was up and we had to move back to anchor. With the jobs list longer than my arm, it seemed a bit daunting at first, but as day by day we settled into a routine and started ticking things off, we're getting closer and closer to the day when we finally can just sail away. <laughs>